All right, let's get into a uh, first leg of discussion now. Lagos residents would have noticed that uh, the heaps of dirt, which was evident for some days on major highways, streets and road medians, have been cleared. Now, this is as a result of the new waste management policy by the state government, which is a public-private partnership. Now, the Cleaner Lagos Initiative was established to address, enforce, and regulate. Address, enforce, and regulate the challenges in solid waste management systems in Lagos. Well, we have the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Cleaner Lagos Initiative, Engineer Debola Shabi, in the studio to enlighten us on the initiative and plans to manage waste in Lagos State. Uh, good morning. It's yeah, good, good to have morning. you on the good show. Morning. Nice Thank to you. see you. It's a pleasure. Ah, uh, for a state that, uh, you know, how much waste do we uh, actually uh, accumulate every day? About over 13,000 no, no, metric more than tons? That. No, let me correct that. It's even more than that. About three, four years ago, yes, oh. it was about 15 metric tons. Uh -huh. That was um, that's about 15,000 tons on a daily basis. Wow. And you see the population growth of Lagos is about 9% annually. Hmm. Over 400,000 people migrate to Lagos. And these same 400 people too will definitely generate waste. So we're talking about 20 metric tons. That's 20, huge. Huge. That's huge. tons on daily basis. And um, you see, there's not a call waste any longer in the world. Mm -hmm. What you consider as your own waste, there are other good products from, to me. Okay, the waste to wealth. Yes, not only uh, waste concept. to wealth, waste to other products. Okay. That you can All say, right. okay. We've okay. heard so mm -hmm. much about the Clean Lagos Initiative. I think let us maybe start from there. Mm -hmm. What is giving rise to a new initiative, mm. Clean Lagos Initiative? What you see, the Clean and Lagos Initiative was a, um, the concept of His Excellency when he came on board 2015 okay. to ensure a cleaner and healthier environment for Lagosians and to provide enabling environment for investors. You see, Clean and Lagos mm. Initiative has, has different components. One of the components is the issue of the um, solid waste management. See, mm -hmm. the problem as of today is the issue of solid waste management, right? And um, we are undergoing through transition today. The, in the past, it was LOMA, mm. Lagos State Waste Management Authority that was in charge of waste collection, mm -hmm. waste disposal, waste regulatory. So everything LOMA was doing you are collecting the waste, you are disposing the waste, and you are regulating it yourself. And the government was spending a lot of money to subsidize waste management then. And His Excellency, now it's okay, I'm providing an enabling environment for investors to come in, right? And we have an investor who had come in with his money, Visionscape, mm -hmm. to collect our residential waste, and also to build engineered sanitary landfill. What we have today are just landfill dump sites. Mm -hmm. And um, you're gonna say that, um, when you come into Lagos, you see the dump site on the Express um, Olusosu. International best practices, you cannot see dump site or engineered landfill, landfill on highways. Mm -hmm. The other one we have at Olusosu, next to the General Hospital, there's no way you can have a sanitary landfill next because the of the, the gases, the odor coming out from your waste. Mm -hmm. And also, you cannot have a um, landfill closer to the airports. So these are the um, reasons why His Excellency has agreed. Okay, Visionscape, come up here and um, uh, manage our solid waste management and build three engineered sanitary landfill outside Lagos. Okay, is that going on right it's now? It's on ongoing now. Where and where do you have this uh, engineered landfills? Okay. okay. No, no, they are not landfill. Engineered sanitary landfill. Engineered what we sanitary have today landfills. are just landfill. Like where the you, one you have at Ojota? Yes, where you um, they bury the waste. Mm. And mm -hmm. a and lot of gases coming from that waste. And you see, the water coming from that waste is called leachate that percolates to the underground and polluting the underground water. Mm. You see, all the 
um, boreholes and the well waters over there mm -hmm. towards the Kenya are highly polluted from those waste. So mm -hmm. we have a different concept now. Mm -hmm. Cleaner Lagos Initiative and the, um, the Visionscape here now. All right, so now this Visionscape is just yeah. one company. Yeah. And if we agree that Lagos, I mean, like you said, it's over 23 million yeah. Lagosians and still counting. Can yeah. this one uh, company actually handle the different levels of waste disposal in, in Lagos? Yeah, or are um, there plans to involve other companies who can provide the same kind of expertise? Yeah, so that I've just not told you. The, yeah, yeah, I've just mentioned it's only one aspect of CLI, which is the solid waste management. Mm. We have other waste, hazardous waste, under the hazardous waste, we have the, um, we have the uh, medical waste. Yes. We have the e-waste. We have the spent oil waste. And under other solid waste like this, we have some vegetable waste. And the government is looking at the way that, okay, other components, turning this waste to energy. Mm. There are some of these biodegradable waste that could be turned to energy. Your biodegradable waste could be turned to energy. Mm -hmm. Your vegetal waste, look at our mile 12. Hmm. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the mile 12 big market, Especially the market I think yes. it's one of the biggest market in, the, um, um, in uh, um, West Africa. Mm -hmm. See, see the volume <clears throat> of the waste being generated there. Why do we need to let this waste get to the landfill or the um, sanitary. Uh, so the question I'd want to ask then, you yeah. talk about biodegradable, and of course yeah. there is non-biodegradable yeah. on, uh, on, on, on the other and hand. And the other ones. Where should that sorting start from? Because the incinerators, no, not incinerators. No, no. The, the, the refuse, the, the, the refuse the bins that we waste. see yeah. springing up here and there, the green ones yeah. by Visionscape. Yeah. You, you, do, you don't see some kind of uh, waste sorting in a way that you're able to put your biodegradable waste on one, uh, one side, side and non-biodegradable uh, biodegradable on the other on side. The other side. Yeah, uh, bottles um, here, plastic, you know, and all of that. Yeah, you see. Are you the, looking at that at um, all? The lot of um, advocacy, mm. sensation going on to educate our people to sort their waste from source. You see, um, in waste management, we have highly densely populated areas. We have medium and we have the low, right? Mm -hmm. Um, people from VI, they can easily understand what we mean by sorting, right? Yeah. But some people in other areas, like Moshi Ajegule, Moshi Ajegule, <laughs> I don't want to make sure this, like Moshi Ajegule, Makuko, Iwaya. I mean, it's going to be difficult for them to sort their ways because they don't understand what you mean by that. Mm. So, we have started those areas, please sort your waste from source. We will pick them. You have your plastic waste, which are not bad, which are not degradable, mm -hmm. and uh, this could be recycled to other things. Your biodegradable waste, we can turn this to energy. Look at what we started also now. In Lagos State today, we slaughter, I mean, over 6,000 animals have been slaughtered on a daily basis. Right? Mm -hmm. And the animal waste, where do they end up to? They end up in the downside when we can use this for other things. Right? Okay. So turning waste to energy is mm -hmm. another component. Another component of the Cleaner Lagos Initiative is creating job opportunities for Lagosians. Mm -hmm. His Excellency has been able to use this um, Cleaner Lagos Initiative to create. 27,000 jobs for legations. How? You see, um, we have people sweeping our highways, right? Yes. But it doesn't want that alone. We want the inner streets, too, to mm -hmm. be clean. And we have 377 political wards. All these people are distributed over to all these wards. About 27,000 or so. Over 27,000 mm. jobs have been created. And they're going to be paid over minimum wages. Okay. Going to be a uh, given insurance mm. so that, I mean, you're not going to um, be uh, walking on the street and you got hit by a car and the government doesn't do anything. We're going to take care of you medically. 
These are the things His Excellency has put in place for the Cleaner Lagos Initiative. Okay. All right, talk, talking about uh, employment, um, yeah. LOMA was the agency concerned with, uh, just like you started, uh, concerned with all this waste management before. Yeah. Now we have uh, the Visionscape you mentioned now. W what becomes of LOMA? What becomes of all the employees mm. in LOMA? No, we're not getting anybody out of job. Okay. What LOMA is going to be doing with the Cleaner Lagos Initiative mm. is regulatory husband, right? Okay. Okay. So what that is what the government needs to do. The government doesn't have anything to do with business. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying now? Mm -hmm. We provide um, 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 enabling environment for you, then we regulate and say that you do it the best environmental way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you are, you, we're giving you the job, you just do it the way you want. Loma has become a regulator now. Okay. So he's, he has hands off the... From waste the collection. Waste yeah. Collection and, and waste uh, management. Disposal and so on. We're going to give them the rules. We have laws. Definitely, after the law, we're going to have the regulation. Mm. The regulation on how this waste should be managed. Yeah. So, so in, in that case, since yeah. it's a regulatory body yeah. now, and it seemed like, because I'm mm. taking it from the question she asked earlier yeah, on, yeah. Visionscape... You have mentioned just Visionscape. Yeah. So if Visionscape is the only uh, company working in the in the environment uh, disposal yeah. or whatever, waste disposal, wouldn't be a monopoly? No, 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 no. You get it again. Okay. okay. I said solid waste. Okay. We have other waste. Okay. So Visionscape will not be handling those no, other. No. As at today. Okay. Visionscape is handling solid just waste. Just solid waste. We are expecting investors to come onto the other. Areas. Waste mm. like e waste, mm. you know, e waste is electrical electronic waste, and you say that annually, annually, mm -hmm. over um, 60,000 of these e waste come through our port here, mm. and 80 percent stay in Lagos, right? 80 percent of these stay in Lagos when you are not using them any longer. What becomes of what this? What happens waste? to yeah. them? Yeah. You understand? Mm. Now, I was saying something to educating some people doing some advocacy some few days ago. This phone you are using, mm -hmm. this telephone set, we had a survey 2014 to 16. And uh, we saw that women change their phone every six months. Mm. And men change their phone two to three years. What becomes of this phone at the end of the day? You throw them away. Mm. You are throwing worth away. When you recycle this phone, one million of this phone, you're going to get out 25 kilograms of gold, 150 kilograms of copper and silver, 94 kilograms of palladium. This is to encourage people... From those chips. Yes, to come and invest. Mm. You see? Mm. And we're going to provide enabling environment for you yeah. to <coughs> invest in this. That's mm. very, very look exciting. At, um, I mentioned to you also, yeah. look at um, this wood now. Mm -hmm. We have what we call the wood waste. When we were young... Um, at Tebutemeta, our mothers would send her to go and buy mm. um, firewood it's, to cook. It's a sawdust. Right. Or what sawdust. Mean, exactly. You see, there is a, there is a technology called gasification. Yeah. Where you, sense, you know, synthesize all the sawdust in that gasification equipment. And you bring out methane gas. And this could be turned to energy. Okay, let me Why be your special we, let me yeah. be your special advisor this morning. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Special advisor, place, <laughs> special, yep, advisor special advisor to the special advisor. Special advisor to the special advisor. In Hamburg, there's a, a place called Mühl for Brennungs and Lager. Yeah. Uh, at, at, well, I can't. That's well, Hamburg, it's, it's, Hamburg in Germany, right? Yes, Hamburg in yeah, Germany. Yeah, yeah. Now, tourists visit that particular site every year, about 5 million tourists every year. Yeah. And they'll pay about five euros just to see the process of recycling New waste. and breaking down of waste. Imagine how much the German government will be making from that kind of yeah. uh, facility. Imagine if Lagos State had, uh, you know, something similar. How much you'll be making? We're going to be making a lot of money. That's why I said, mm. let me be your special so, advisor. So we all this have morning. to go to Badagri and Ekwe yeah. to do and this. To, <laughs> to see the process of, of how know, waste are being recycled. Is recycled. You see. Um, there are different ways you can recycle and get other products. I just mentioned this to you. Mm. I mean, we can, um, investors can come in and invest, and we said, okay, 
people should come and see how these things have been done. Mm -hmm. You see, our youths today say, oh, there's no job, there's no job. We have jobs, waste to wealth. Mm -hmm. Come around, we will teach you how to use this waste to other products. Mm -hmm. I was teaching some guys some, um, another way some days ago. Look at when you go to hotels. Mm -hmm. Every day they have that tablet of soap yes. in each room. They don't use it, they don't finish it. More than the following 50, day, more than 50% is the not The following used. day, mm, it's replaced. they garbage yeah. it mm. and they replace it. Why should they throw that away? Those, could, those tablets could be collected and turn to other things. There's a, a young man in Kenya that's making so much yeah. money from we collecting those. We are encouraging our over, youth. You see, you see so, in, I told you that His Excellency is using this Kenya Lagos initiative mm. to create jobs for people. That's what we're doing. My job is to educate you. Listen, we have an opportunity here. You can come in here. Look at the issue of the waste oil. Mm -hmm. You have generators in your house. Mm. Yes. When you service your generator, what do you do to the oil? You just, you just dispose. dispose of it. How do you dispose? You throw it, you put it on the ground, mm -hmm. right? It percolates, it affects your underground water. You think you're drinking good water, or it's washed to the lagoon. It affects the aquatic life there. And that is one of the sources of cancer in Nigeria today. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. see the young ones. We don't want that. We want people. Those oil could be turned to other things. Could be turned to lubricants. You can even use that membrane technology mm. to bring out the particles and turn it back to engine and you make your money. Right? We are there at the CLI to educate people to see how we can turn waste to wealth. So you really have your job cut out for you. It means you're going to be doing a lot of enlightenment. A lot of advocacy. Uh, you, you know, We're yes, going to involve for, the, for uh, we're already involved in the this. CDC. We're going to involve the Landlord and Tenant Association. Mm. We're going to involve the civil societies. We're going to involve the NURTs. We're going to involve the market women and the NGOs. And also, finally, look at what um, on this issue of people dumping waste on our medians. Mm. You see, people patronize cat pushers. Mm -hmm. Right? They were banned just uh, yeah, not we too banned long them. ago. The reason is that, mm. you see, in waste management, you must ensure that your waste are collected and it gets to the disposal site, right? Mm -hmm. When the cat pushers catch your waste, where do they end up to? It is an offense that you are giving your waste and your waste is not getting to the disposal site. You are liable, likewise the... Um, are you considering uh, yeah. bringing this kule kules, the, the waste disposal young men who yeah. you know go from door to door to collect no. the waste of you see, individuals? Okay, where like do your, train where, them. Uh, you let know, me ask you a question. Already, yes. Where does your waste end when you have this kule kule? It's the mm. dump site. No, no. If they can take to the dump site, mm. we will encourage and regulate them. Mm -hmm. But let me ask you this question. I live at... Um, Surilere now. Mm -hmm. I live in that Surilere. And um, Kole Kole now just coming to my house to pick my waste. Do you think that Kole Kole will take the waste from Surilere to Olushosu? Mm. Certainly not. Certainly not. Mm. And you see, it's a law, waste management law. We call it cradle to grave. Cradle from the generation, mm -hmm. grave to the disposal. So, at the end of the day, your waste end up on our medians. Okay, so what do you do about about uh, the regulatory, uh, ex especially the enforcement? You you you've talked about cracking down on illegal dumping. Yes. How are you going to ensure that you know uh, the proper environmental management and protection laws are actually uh, adhered to? Uh, I guess this twenty-seven or so. Um, uh, twenty-seven thousand. Yes. yes that you have employed yeah. as um, they've started, sanitary, sanitary they've started inspectors. Cleaning your, how do you your ensure, soup. how yeah. do you ensure that on their own part, yeah. they don't turn the other eye and allow people to still, you know, go about their business as usual when it comes to, you know, improper waste disposal? Yeah, thank you. You see, on each street, mm -hmm. you have supervisors and these people are provided with garbage bags, right? To ensure that when you clean up your area, you bag this waste. 
and the vision scape will pick the waste from you. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, and um, when you talk of the issue of enforcement, we have what we call LAGES, Lagos State um, um, uh, Sanitation Corps. Ah. The former CHI, they mm. are the LAGES now. So, we have over a thousand uh, personnel. They are all over the state. You see them drive around with the, the small cars. Mm -hmm. If you are caught dumping your waste on the media, on the street, you will be liable and you will be charged to court. And we're encouraging now that mm -hmm. they should, I mean, the court should give community service to people now. Let the people see the falters mm -hmm. picking waste on the street and you snap their pictures, bring to the TV station, bring, uh, mm -hmm. give to the media, let Sh them that, see. That's like shaming that, them yeah, as their punishment. Yes, that's going to be their punishment. But we, in, think in we are the problems mm -hmm. of our problem in this country. Mm. The government um, has provided you the opportunities. Wait, we're giving you the garbage bags and we're giving you the garbage bins. Mm. Bag your waste. Put the waste down there, we'll pick them for you. That but, is the job possible, of enforcement? but is it not possible that yeah. in, in most of those places, especially yeah. in yeah. marketplaces yeah. You, where people still dump refuse uh, by the median, it is, is it also not possible that they don't have enough of those? beans and, mm -hmm. and no you see around. um depending on the markets mm. we have 20 metric cube of these um garbage beans mm. like emotion but we are still looking at way to in increase that to about 40 metric cube because mm. of the volume of waste being generated there you cannot compare the waste being generated emotion to the waste being generated at um sabo market so Sabo market will definitely go for or with 20 metric cube, while Boshi will go for uh, with that 40 metric cube, right? We're looking at that now. And also, let me bring to your attention, mm. the way uh, you've been paying for your waste in the past uh -huh. is gonna be different mm -hmm. now. That's very There's important. what we call a public utility bill. Okay. And that has been done on the size of your properties. Is it um, like the land use charge? Mm -hmm. So this you're going to be paying it annually. And um, does it really worth it? You pick your waste from your home and dump on the street. When you know you pick it or you don't, pay, you're still going to pay for that. So you might as well pick it. No, so you must as well leave your waste for the vision scape to come and take from your house. If the vision scape doesn't come, call your CDC. Your mm -hmm. CDC will call a CLI office. Then the CLI office will call the vision scape. So okay. we will ensure that your waste are collected minimum twice a week. I was just going to ask how regularly. No, uh, no. We will ensure that the CLI office will ensure that mm. your waste in Lagos are collected minimum twice a week, mm. depending on the area. Like motion, definitely we're not going to go for. You uh, might with, need to um, do more than We definitely going more, to do more, often more than that. or like mm. three or four days mm. because of the population of Moshi and because of the, uh, the kind of uh, the, yes, waste generated. Yes, with okay, let's talk about the timing. Uh, yeah. I mean, driving through Lagos in the past week or so, you've been seeing the Visionscape trucks, beautiful green the trucks. Great, beautiful trucks, yeah. Really beautiful yeah. in the daytime. Is it possible that they actually pick up their this refuse in the night when, you know, so that you don't have traffic, uh, you know, tailback and all of that. Lagos already has that challenge. Is it something that you're looking at? Like it's done um, in other parts of the world I where will tell you refuse that. is uh, picked up in the middle of the night and not, no, it's uh, not daytime. Right. It's not in New in York. most, most yes. places. Like in New York, they pick your waste during the day. Okay, so right? how do you manage the yes. traffic situation yes, um, with that? Yes, we're going to be doing that. Like in the last few days now, mm. we've been working with them to ensure that we get waste off our streets. You understand? Mm. So, and uh, you see that Lagos, Lagos is coming back to the way it used to be, right? Um, I think we have cleared over 60% of the waste as of today. So, we will say um, where you have the traffic problem, we will encourage them to work at night. Where there is less traffic, they can still collect the waste during the day. You see, most areas, I'm mm -hmm. not talking about the high streets mm -hmm. or the high roads. Yeah. I'm talking about the residential now. You see, most areas have um, 
gates. There are gates being locked at night. Mm -hmm. How do you expect them to have access at night? So in those areas, we will ensure that they pick their waste during the day. But the other areas that we think we're going to have traffic, mm -hmm. we we'll make sure that they pick at night. Mm. All right. One, one concern that Nigerians have, or maybe even Lagosians from antecedents, is the issue of sustaining a mm -hmm. good initiative or mm -hmm. sustaining a good idea. The CLI, as you call it, is on ground now. There seems to be a lot of drive, vigor, mm -hmm. passion, and all of that. Yeah, we are going to, in the next, say, f four or five years, it might not be the same. We saw the when Loma was initiated, good trucks, beautiful everything, and it was like, yeah, you know, Loma, hey, they are doing a nice mm -hmm. job. Until after some time, after a few years, yeah, it was like, yeah, relax. they just come when they have to come and so on. So what is that thing that's going to keep this passion even in 10 years going or even in five years? Yeah, so definitely, we're going to, definitely we're going to sustain this. I will tell you how. Mm -hmm. You see, an investor has come to invest his money. And we have, we have policies and regulation, mm. which they must adhere to, right? Mm. Our policy, I'm just giving an example. Okay, um, every five, five years, you must change your vehicles. That is part of our policy. I'm only saying that, right? Okay. As the CLI, the special advisor to the on the CLI, I will ensure that that policy, they adhere to that policy. Oh, after the fifth year, oh, this is our agreement. You must change your vehicles. Failure to do that, maybe your contract is, is terminated. You understand? That is another way to sustain government policies and, and regulations. Mm -hmm. So it's only when the government is the, um, um, is the prosecutor, the government is the judge, that is where you say that we don't sustain this. Mm -hmm. But here, yeah, the government is not the judge. The government is not the prosecutor. The government is the judge, and the investor is the prosecutor. So there's difference here. So and there the, must the be. government will hold somebody responsible Definitely. For, for any you see, failures. In the yeah. case of Loma, mm. Loma was collecting the waste. Loma was disposing the waste. Loma was regulating itself. Mm -hmm. So prosecutor, the judge, and the defense attorney. So <laughs> it's really the same. But, to, but today, it's a different ballgame. Okay, before we, have we, the before we separate, let you go, we uh, have the Engineer, defense attorney Engineer separate, Shabi. we have the judge separate. Since you're here, what's going to happen with the Ojota um, dump site. site? Yeah, thank you. That's a good Very question. Quickly, That's a good yes. question. In the next two years, we're going to do away with uh, um, Ojota and Olusosu. But I will strongly tell you, people will ask, Oh, you're going to do away with that. What's going to happen? There are going to be a lot of gases escaping. No. We're going to do what we call the commissioning study. Which is? That commi the commissioning study on how those gases will be captured, the leachate will be captured, right? And the odor will be captured mm -hmm. so that we're not going to leave any room for all those to escape. And oh, okay. also... Do, that area will be left for minimum of between 15 to 20 years to replenish itself, itself back. And that could be turned to park. Okay. You understand? Okay. So, if it is not sold so, out for buildings. So, and no, that. you see, <laughs> after that it could be used for any other thing. But okay. we must do what we call the commissioning study of that area okay. to ensure that the gases don't escape, mm. to ensure that the leachate does not percolate, okay. to ensure that the odor does not... Yes, okay. okay. We have to leave it here now. A special advisor to the 